I went beer shopping even though I wasn't really looking for anything, but I found a beer never seen before. Full Sail Session Tangerine Twist. Full Sail is located in Hood River, Oregon. They're the only brewery I know of that seems to specialize, or at least make a lot of different session beers. Here's what the bottle looks like. See the Full Sail logo up there. Session, mean low alcohol. Tangerine Twist. It's a little short, stubby bottle. Here's one other thing too. Check it out. A tangerine on the bottle cap. <laughs> I like that. The website says a little bit of stuff here about it. I'll go ahead and read it because th this is not on the bottle. Tangerine, citrus aromas, and burst of tangerine flavor. Give this a squeeze. Summer might feel like a distant memory now, but our brew crew is here to keep you stoked through the winter doldrums. Our new tangerine twist ale will help you get your sesh on. Oh, that's interesting. Like you've just paddled in from the surf. Tangerine, citrus aromas, and a burst of tangerine flavors make the super drinkable golden ale as refreshing as juicy. Everything you love about session with a twist. I'm not sure exactly when this came out. I just saw it as I'm making this video. This is it's March of 2018. I actually found reviews going back to July of 2017. The 12 pack of this cost me I think it's around $12. According to the website, it is available January to April, and it's only available in 12 packs uh, and on draft. 5.2% alcohol, 20 IBUs. Full Sail is very secretive about their ingredients. They don't list anything at all about it. Even tangerine, they don't even give a hint about where it comes from. It's possible it could come from hops, or from actual citrus. I expect it to be light color, probably clear. I expect it to be a light, maybe medium body. And I do expect it to be very tangerine, maybe a little sweet. As far as golden ales in general, what's common for them? Golden, uh, maybe a straw color. And some are clear, some are hazy. They could be sweet or malty or maybe a little toasted, fruity, citrusy. Those are the common flavors you get out of them. They should not be hoppy at all. That is absolutely clear, slight golden tint. There's no sediment floating in it. Nothing in suspension. Couldn't be or else wouldn't be clear. But there's a little bit of bubbles right in the center going up. The head is paper thin. It started out a little bit thicker than that, but it's died down. I do get very soft citrus aromas, but I couldn't tell you what they are. I was expecting more of a punch in the face with tangerine. There might be a little bit of sweet in there too, and I'm having to draw it in. I've had some beers where as soon as it gets put, it's put in front of me, I can already smell the citrus notes, but boy, everything is so faint in the nose. Present tangerine coats my mouth. The majority of it is on the roof. Nothing falls to the side or back. It just clings to the roof and slowly dissipates. There's no hoppiness, no bitterness whatsoever. Very clean profile. Tiny bit of sweetness, but largely citrus. I am really wondering if they use maybe some fruit puree in this, but probably not. My thoughts are that the tangerine notes came from hops. Summit, Mandarin of Bavaria, known to give tangerine. This tastes medium body. It could be light, but I think it's medium. There may be a touch of spiciness in it from some hops, but just a nibble. Tangerine notes definitely stick around for a little while. They're very nice. I don't get any candy notes out of it. Not really any tanginess. The mouthfeel is good, it's solid. This may be a little watery if you take away the tangerine, but not too much. I think this is probably a simple recipe. I'm figuring they use one, maybe two malts, and probably one style of hop. It's not a complex beer whatsoever. There's not much there. 
but what's there is nice, clean wall presented. Eighty, ninety percent still on the roof of my mouth. Very little on my tongue. Still sticks and holds there the same way. No real lingering aftertaste. Still get that sweetness and the tangerine presence. It tastes the same as the glass. There are no off flavors. I haven't had any off flavors in any, in any um, full salt beers. No dastol, no acetone paint thinner, you know, no chemical flavors. Never had them skunked, rotten fruit flavors, fusel and alcohols, astringency, mouth puckering. So would I buy this beer again? Occasionally, yes, I would. I'm happy with it, and I like gold nails. So yeah, I'll buy it again. Would I recommend it? Do you like gold nails? Do you like fruit in them? Yes, you probably would like this and I would recommend it. As far as golden nails, how do I think this compares to the others I've had? Most of the golden nails I've had are fruity. This one I think does a good job. They don't claim it to be anything extravagant. It's just a simple gold nail from Tangerine flavor. It's basic. There's not a lot of flavors, but it's so well done. Full Cell Brewing Session Tangerine Twist. If you have any comments, feedback, if you've had this beer, just want to give some input on it, whatever, you know, yeah, let me hear it. Well, that's all for this review. As you can tell, I've drank almost all of it during the review. That's how good it is. Cheers.